Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. If you happen to be in Seattle and you go over to the Diller Room, you might see this guy behind the counter. His name is Justin Woodschlaw, and I apologize if I got that wrong. If you know the correct pronunciation, please put it down below because I really want to know. Anyways, he created a cocktail called the Jade Idol. And on the surface, some of the ingredients look kind of odd going together, that being green chartreuse and creme de menthe. You kind of see where I'm going there? It just sounds like it doesn't work. However, I did see this on Jungle Haas uh, on Instagram, and you know what? I really want to try this. So let's get into it. Now this is a shaken cocktail, so what you want to do is grab your shaker and a knife, because what you're gonna do first is you're gonna cut your citrus. Now look at this, lemons and limes that are almost exactly the same size. Like, I think I'm getting ripped off somewhere. Anyways, what you wanna do is you wanna cut them both in half, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze in three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters each. Perfect. Now, the next thing we need is a honey syrup, and we're going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Gorgeous. Now, this is where the ingredients start to differ in a way that's odd for tiki. However, we are gonna start with a green creme de menthe, and it has to be green. And we're gonna use a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half milliliters. Now, the next thing that we are going to use is a dry orange curacao, and for that we're using Pierre Ferrand. It's got a, a great flavor and smell, and it is dry, so it's not gonna push up any of the uh, sugar flavors. But what we do need is one ounce or 30 milliliters. All right. Now, and this is where it really starts to deviate. We're going to use green chartreuse. This is a very herbaceous look here. It's also strong at 50%. And we're actually going to use another ounce or 30 milliliters as well. All right. And now, just to bring things even under control, we're going to use an unaged Jamaican rum. And we're gonna use some Ray and Nephew for this. And we're going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. All right, now that's gonna give us a little bit more of uh, ethanol punch, but it's gonna give us a little bit of that funky uh, rum banana that that's known for. So what we'll do is we will shake this with some ice for a good 10 to 15 seconds, and we'll do that with a smile, because why not? Pop that off with the strength of a lemon and a lime, maybe a thousand of each, you never know. However, we are gonna fill this into a beautiful wine glass. But first, we're gonna fill this up about halfway with crushed ice. Because no tiki drink is good without crushed ice. Well, that's not true. You can have lots of tiki drinks without crushed ice. You can do it any way you want. But, now, having done that, I'm not worried about fine straining this because, you know, you already got crushed ice in here anyways, so we'll just fill it like this. Look at that color, absolutely fantastic. And you know what? It smells really good too, but so what we wanna do is just fill this with a little bit more crushed ice, like so. Just, you know, keep it nice and cold and give it that gorgeous look. And then what we'll do is we will garnish this with a dehydrated orange wedge like so. Now this drink looks fantastic, and you know what? Let's give it a bit of a try. Oh, that is so good. Actually, it's unbelievably good. You would think with the combination of the creme de menthe and the green chartreuse that it would clash, but it doesn't. They work so well together. With that honey, the lemon and the lime, the orange, you get those citrus notes, pulling everything together and you get that hint of funk note and that little bit of extra punch from the Ray and Nephew. You know what? This is really, really good. If you think I should do anything different, leave a comment down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, hit that subscribe button. That way, every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified and make sure you hit the bell as well. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.